use little use in actually selling it. So don't sell the Zodiac Spear. It's a stupid idea. What do you got for me? As soon as go, fucking yes. Shell go, protect go. Dispel go, arise. You'll see why I grabbed all that stuff. You'll see why. Bye. Need some vaccines. Thank you. All right, keeping going, keeping on going on. I think before I head off to uh, the Pharaohs, which everybody, simply to gaze upon the sea's beauties cleanses the heart. Nothing there was blue in my home. For the first time, I'm glad of my journey. I've already said that, though, I'm sure, because it sounded familiar. Enter the Menace, or Menace. The governor expects a good behavior from all his guests. Go in, in you go. Governor. Weird. Ships in the water. Send fishing dories if need be, I care not. Gloss air engines are as good to us as sky to a fish. Leave what boats have founded. I want souls saved, not driftwood. Our armada ran afoul of bad water near the Ridderana Cataract. All engines stopped a sudden, becalmed, trouble with a mist thick as death, it seems. Those seas are yacht. I expected airship trouble, not a fleet foundering midst the waves. Tell me of what happened in Giruvagon. From the lay of your eyes, I measure all did not go well. Sid, was he false as I feared? Yes. But we may have caught a glimpse of his true intent. We may now know what it is that Sid searches for. So the day affected Nithocyte was only a fragment? And these Ocuria I know not and care to know even less. If we strike this Suncrist with the Sword of Kings, no new stone may be born. We say the Suncrist is the source of all Nithocyte's power. If we might break it, the Dusk Shard would be as a thing lifeless. As for the manufactured Nethesite, who can say? There is another way. We use the Treaty Blade to cut a new stone from the Crist. Use that to fight the Dusk Shard and the manufactured stones. Would you like to know the best use of Nethesite? Will or nil, I'll tell you. You pick it up and throw it away. Either way, we have to find the Sun Crist first, right? Don't we? across the sea, and a tower on a distant shore. Redis? Familiar words, Vaughn. I saw something of the sort written in some documents I chanced upon during my visit to Draclaw. The Naldoan Sea, the Ridderana Cataract, and the Pharos Lighthouse. I sent my fleet to fish out the truth behind these words, and caught trouble. Then proof is ours. This lighthouse on the Naldoan Sea is the tower on the distant shore. The strong mist that becalmed your ships is a grimmer yet clearer sign than any we might hope for. The Suncrist is there. All well and good, but how do we get there? Those seas are in Yacht, as I recall. Try putting this one in your ship. It is a Skystone made to resist Yacht. More spoils from the Draclaw labs, is it? Why not use it yourself? That's just the thing. My ship's a Bajurban model. It will not work. But, should it fit the Strahl, she'll fly in Yacht. 
Lady Ash, I would accompany your highness if you do not object. I am in your care. But tell me one thing. Why do so much for us? The Nabudis Deadlands. Nabudis was your home? Nay, but a memory forever burned in my heart. Reddish joins the party as a guest. Yay! We have a guest. He's gonna be a much higher level than us, just so you know. I think he's gonna be like 60. He might be 10 levels higher. Something like that. Something along those lines. <sighs> ah, it is you. Have you heard? Our ship sent the fair sent to the pharaohs have foundered. Thankfully enough, it was just as frightened. It was just as the fishing skulls came home. We sent them out straight away. Ritterana, the great pharaohs in the bottomless cataract. No man of Balfheim would willingly go there. So oft are we warned as children. But Redis is no man of Balfheim. There were many against this expedition, but he, he knew no fear. You make for the great pharaohs. That place is in Yacht, you know. You will not be able to fly there. No, no. There you are. The repairs on the straw are complete, Cupo. You can leave when you want from the aerodome. Cupo, you've a sky stone that can fly in Yacht? I'll put that in the, I'll I'll put it right in the straw then, Cupo. Oh, the straw can now travel through Yacht. Yay! Ah, that is a spot of good fortune. That new sky shone should ease your journey considerably. Now, you know the way? The pharaohs that tower on a distant shore stands on the island at the, at the Ritterana Cataract in the Yacht Naldoa, southeast of here. Take care. Oh my god, his voice hurts me. Your voice hurts me, Raz! Your voice hurts me! I don't think I could do his voice for much longer. Alright, so... Let me look at... Ah! He's not that much higher in level than us. He's only 53. That's scary. We're gonna uh, we're gonna soon out-level Redis, and he's gonna become a hindrance. Because I know Ritterana Cat Cataract is gonna be fun. I mean, we're probably over-leveled for it anyway, but still. It's not gonna be good. Actually, whenever I first saw Redis, my first time playing this game, I thought he was a male Vera. Don't ask why. It's just because his skin was just as dark as Fran's and he has white hair just like Fran. I was like, oh my god, he's a Vera too! He just doesn't have bunny ears! I, I, I was like, oh, he's a Vera! But I have no idea. He might be a Hume. It's not really stated whether he's a Hume or not. But then again, you can you can guess that he is a Hume. Because if he was a Vera, he would look like a Vera. And Vera are supposedly all female, too, so... So we're going to save now. And we're, then we're going to head to the Aerodome. But... That'll be for next time, guys. The Pharaohs at Ritterana. Everybody hates this place. Why do they hate it? Well, you're gonna see next time. Bye, guys.